The Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver, a book series for kids. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Beaver Town to you. I can't wait for you to hear about the adventure I just went through. I followed the rainbow with my good friend Blake, anxious about the discovery we could make. Enjoy the book. I hope you do. Please leave a comment when you're through. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm off to find some of those yummy clovers to eat. Bye-bye. <laughs> the Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver. Clovers and Gold. A magical tale. Written and narrated by Luke Deline. Illustrated by Lene Deline. Just after dawn, one spring morning in Beaver Town Sky, a beautiful, bright, colorful rainbow appeared and seemed to be nearby. Excited at the thought of luck with no end, the silly little beaver ran toward the rainbow with Blake, his new beaver friend. They focused their search for where the rainbow touched the ground. It's there, they thought, a pot of gold would be found. Blake ran faster as he was the tallest one in town, careful not to run over anyone and knock them down. It wasn't long until the silly little beaver could no longer see Blake, so he decided to stop and take a quick snack break. As he searched for something yummy to eat, he saw some strange looking plants near his feet. They appeared to be clovers, which were common along the lake shore. However, they normally had three leaves, and these had a total of four. Wow! The silly little beaver yelled as he thought out loud, careful not to draw a very large crowd. I just realized that it's St. Patrick's Day! These clovers are surely a sign of luck coming my way! The silly little beaver gently picked some of the four-leaf clovers and loaded them into his sack. Then he carefully lifted it up onto his back. He continued along the path in search of the gold-filled pot, looking for any more signs of luck in every possible spot. It wasn't long until he saw something that looked out of place. It was a green, gold, and black briefcase. The outside red and bright sparkling rainbow colors to be opened by a leprechaun only. The silly little beaver picked it up and continued on his journey slowly. He crossed over a magical bridge made of bright green wood and golden rope, through a forest of rainbow-colored trees and a beautiful sign that read, Hope. Finally, he saw the spot where the rainbow ends and the sparkling pot of gold alongside one of his good friends. He was shocked to see the leprechaun was actually Blake from town. Howdy, Blake yelled. Go ahead and put that briefcase down. I've been waiting here patiently for hundreds of years for someone, anyone, to reach the pot of gold before it disappears. The silly little beaver had done it. He passed every single test. The briefcase, the clovers, the crazy bridge, and all of the rest. Now, as he sat proud in his pot full of gold, he thought, Hmm, I wonder if all of this will fit 
in the sack that I brought. As he leapt off the gold to begin filling his sack, he heard a strange knock type sound coming from behind his back. As he turned to see what that noise was, he couldn't believe his eyes. He was still in his house, tucked in bed, and that's when he began to realize. The entire journey to the end of the rainbow was just a dream. Blake, the clovers, the briefcase, the bridge over the stream. Feeling sad, the silly little beaver got out of bed and opened the door. There stood Blake, pointing out a beautiful rainbow, just like before. Shocked and stunned, the silly little beaver ran back inside to get his hat. That's when he noticed a tiny gold coin lying on the floor near his welcome mat. With no words to speak, all he could do was stare. He turned to tell Blake, but he was no longer there. Life is filled with magic, so long as you believe it's true. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Beaver Town to you. The end. Thank you for watching the animated version of my book series, The Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver. We have many more books being released soon, so please click on the subscribe button now. Thank you again, and enjoy your day. <laughs> I'm off to find some wood to eat now. Bye-bye!